Well, folks, it's officially 2018, and while many of us were kind of hoping for jetpacks and flying cars, unfortunately, it's more like we solved some first world problems. We now have connected crock pots and coffee makers, and yes, we now even have a connected smart travel mug. With that, I'm Elliot, this is Pugloaf, and let's take a look at Ember's new $149 travel mug. So here we have Ember's new travel mug, which costs $149. Now, you have to say real quickly here, why on earth would I spend $149 for a travel mug? Something that costs anywhere from like $10 to maybe like $40, depending on what brand you're buying. Well, that's quite simple. This is a smart connected travel mug, so it has built-in heat temperature. Basically what that means is it will keep your beverage anywhere from 120 degrees Fahrenheit to 145 degrees Fahrenheit, and it has quite a few bells and whistles. Some of them not totally necessary though. For charging, it is a wireless charging base, which means it will actually look really sleek and will fit into any modern kitchen. It does look pretty badass. It also has optional Bluetooth, which frankly is the one area of weakness that I would say on this. You just don't need it. The mug itself has all the controls in it. You just hit the logo, it prompts you, you change the dial, you can change the temperature. That's it, that's all you really need to do with it and it works great right out of the box outside of maybe charging it fully. If you want to, again, you can connect it to your smartphone. Yes, it even has an Apple Watch app, which well, again, this is solving a first world problem, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, so basically what you're going to get out of the app is simply changing the same controls that you can on the mug. You change the temperature, you can do one press presets on the temperature, uh, again, you can change the temperature. So that's pretty much what the app does, which kind of makes it not super useful, which again is why I would just stick to using the mug. And the interface on the mug actually works so well and it's just very easy. So I don't know why they put the Bluetooth connection in there. Maybe just call it a smart mug, make it a little more fancy, whatever. Not gonna argue with the reasoning here, but it works and the app works fine. Um, as far as functionality, yes, it absolutely keeps and retains the temperature. That's the big point here. So on my very unscientific uh, assessment here, basically what I did was compare this to a regular coffee mug, a regular travel mug, and then a Yeti dual insulated tumbler, whatever you wanna call the thing. Uh, everyone's favorite uh, mug for both coffee, cold brew, and of course, hot beverages. So basically what you can see here is I whittled it down to both the Yeti and Ember. Uh, and what it came down to is ultimately the Ember obviously can retain that temperature much longer. So as far as battery life goes, the Ember can do t uh, what they're saying is two one hour sessions of coffee on a full charge. So basically you can get two hours of, you know, retention as far as what temperature you want. So of course that's going to depend on what you set it at. Coffee, you want it anywhere from 120 to 140 degrees. Tea, it's actually a lot hotter than what it can go, so not going to be super effective there. Uh, but you know, who drinks tea? Yeah, that's only like a lot of the world. Um, but you know, what we're getting to here is just looking at the comparison between Yeti, which has a great retention for both cold and heat and Ember's built-in system for actually heating it. So, very unscientifically, Ember very clearly won. <laughs> it kept going for another hour and 15 minutes, so actually an hour and 30 minutes past what Yeti could do to retain the temperature. So, obviously, this is unscientific. There were no lids on either the containers either, but it is just a quick comparison, and that's what I found. So, just to wrap this up, as far as what the Ember can do, uh, it will maintain your beverage to 120 to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. It has wireless charging, optional Bluetooth with apps for iOS, Apple Watch, and Android, and the battery life lasts two hours. As far as setting the mug up and getting it ready to go, it's really no different than pretty much any other mug out to the difference of turning it on and changing the dial. So for this, it's actually a very sleek design where there's no hidden or there's no buttons very obviously sitting on here. Uh, all you have to do is actually put your finger on the Ember symbol or their logo, 
it will then have the uh, prompt appear. And from that, there's actually just this little dial at the bottom, which is just very well built into it. And from that, you'll be able to adjust the temperature and then it does its thing. However, there is also an app that you can use too. Um, you will have to go through your standard Bluetooth connection to actually go through that process. However, with that said, I don't know why they have an app. I don't know why they necessarily have Bluetooth connection on here. Uh, the same things that you can actually do on your mug, which are turn it on, turn it off, check the battery, change the temperature on it, you can do that in the app. It's just a little bit easier in the app, but you know, there's no reason to do that. You might as well just do it straight from here, make it super easy. So besides the fancy bells and whistles and keeping your beverage hot, what exactly can this thing hold? So very simply, this holds a 12 ounce amount of liquid. The actual mug weighs a whole pound, which is a little bit weighty for what it is. And itself is about your traditional size of a travel mug. So it's about eight inches tall and about 2.75 inches wide. It has an IPX7 rating, which means that it can be fully submerged. However, you cannot put this into the dishwasher, only the lid can go into the dishwasher. The rest of it has to be hand washed, and if you want to charge it, make very sure that the bottom, and probably just very safely, the rest of the mug is not wet. So would we recommend Ember's new travel mug? Ultimately, that just depends on how well this will solve your problem. That being said, if you have a long commute or you tend to forget your coffee and frankly just aren't a big fan of microwave mint because the temperature that comes out of that could either be boiling hot or just not quite right, uh, this will certainly do the job. Uh, on a side note, it just looks fantastic and it works great and it even has wireless charging. Apple, how are you only just now there and these guys have wireless charging? That's really awkward for you. That being said, again, Fantastic, looks great, would recommend, but it is a little bit of expensive for a travel mug. We now have connected crock pots and coffee makers. We now have connected crock pots, crock pots? Yes! We have things like connected crock, ha, words. <laughs>